Hello everyone, I just want to welcome you to the debut Aeolian podcast with a quick rundown of upcoming events. As I'm sure you know, this week we're holding our Pride event, and as of the posting of this podcast, we've had three great events so far. In our Pride Place, our Posey Concert, and London Lesbian Film Festival Film Night. You can get tickets at our website at aeolianhall.ca slash events, by phone at 509-672-7950, or in our box office at 795 Dundas Street. Please enjoy the interview with our excellent volunteer, Mike Hansen. Hi there, my name is Mike Hansen, and I have been volunteering at Aeolian Hall for approximately one and a half years, enjoying the whole time. Awesome. So how did you first discover the Aeolian Hall? I moved to London from Toronto approximately three years ago, and I found that uh, the Aeolian had phenomenal music. I really enjoyed coming here uh, to see all the live acts, and when I realized that I could actually take part myself as a volunteer, I thought, well, that's a good opportunity to get involved in the community, maybe see a little bit more music, and uh, I found that overall I've become very much entrenched in the fabric of, of this place uh, and the London community overall, and I think uh, in many respects, I blame Aeolian Hall for that. <laughs> Are you from Toronto originally? Uh, originally, I'm from Saskatchewan. Saskatchewan? Uh, I, I grew until probably 25 years old <laughs> there, uh, and then made the move to Toronto in 1990. Wow. Uh, I really enjoyed Toronto uh, for the simple fact that uh, it's got all of the dynamic intensity, the energy uh, yep. th- that's always there. Uh, I really feed on that stimulation. Yeah. Uh, and as a result, uh, when I came to London, uh, I realized, because it's a quieter city than Toronto is, of course, yep. uh, that I had to make myself very busy. Uh, and one of the things that I did was uh, to see more live music. Yep. Uh, I also really like the, the Old East Village. Uh, I think it's a, a very dynamic, interesting community. Yeah. It's a wonderfully broad spectrum of, uh, of individuals. I, I don't like homogenous kind of all one thing, so, oh, yeah. uh, so I, I appreciate the fact that you can meet all kinds of people uh, here, and, uh, and I find that people, generally speaking, are pretty darn wonderful when you talk to them. Totally. And so you have a family here? Uh, I actually have a family originally from Saskatchewan, mm-hmm. uh, and uh, none of my family lives here down east, yeah. uh, other than, uh, oh, well, in terms of my own family, yeah. I certainly have a, I have a wife and I have two children. Yeah. Uh, I have two boys who are 13 and 15, Wow. Uh, and uh, I've started getting them on the road to volunteerism as well. Mm -hmm. Uh, Bryn, in fact, uh, my eldest, just uh, joined me at Home County over the weekend, and uh, I think he did 15 hours over the weekend, so he was, uh, and and really enjoyed it as well, so I'm I'm hoping that he proceeds onwards and realizes how much fun it is to just give back and just get involved in all the things that can be happening. Yeah, that's great. Uh, What's what's your favorite show you volunteered for, or even attended? Oh, gosh. Um... In terms of attending, I think I really enjoyed uh, uh, The Pairs recently. It was a fantastic show to attend, uh, but I've also volunteered for one of those shows as well uh, of theirs. Uh, in terms of, uh, of uh, uh, other shows, Sarah Sleen was fantastic. Uh, really enjoyed her show. Mm-hmm. Uh, Jeremy Dutcher, fantastic. Yeah. Um, I've seen Danny Michelle play here as well, uh, and he did a phenomenal uh, job. He was actually playing as part of a fundraiser. Uh, and we had, uh, I think, the whole uh, of the um, uh, uh, London Symphonia mm-hmm. backing him up, and that was a fantastic show. Yeah, and along the same lines, like who, who would you love to either have back or just come here in general? I think uh, somebody who, uh, who I think would fit uh, Aeolian Hall really well is uh, there's a... Uh, Band called Weather Station. Mm-hmm. Is it Weather Station or Weather? Re- no, it's not Weather Report. Weather Station. Okay. Uh, from uh, Toronto. Okay. Uh, and I think she would uh, she would uh, either as a solo act or or if she wanted to bring her whole band, that would be a great fit for here. Totally. Uh, in terms of coming back, uh, I, I have heard that Chick Corea's show was fantastic here, but mm-hmm. he's not played while I've been here. So I would love it if he could come back. So. Yeah. I suppose this is along the same lines, but um, what makes, or sorry, I think you've kind of answered this, but what makes Alien such a great place to contribute to? I I think the key thing that I noticed was that once I got involved, the people were very welcoming, Mm -hmm. very uh, generous, very uh, interesting, uh, and I find in some places where you go to volunteer, everybody kind of just they'll, they'll sort of show up and they'll do their thing. But in this yep. case, it really felt like everybody realized that they were part of a larger community and a larger movement in terms of making the world a better place. And, yeah. and that's what I really liked was, was that awareness from the people around me that they were doing good stuff here. Yeah. Why should people go to an alien show? 
Uh, oh, many, many reasons. Uh, first of all, it is a wonderfully intimate uh, location. Uh, it has uh, fantastic sound. Mm -hmm. uh, there's something about uh, about the way concerts sound at the Aeolian that seem to be much different than every other hall I've gone gone to. It's almost like a church. Yeah. It has that magical quality that just makes you feel like you're in in the presence of some wonderful energy Absolutely. happening, uh, and it makes means that every single uh, every single experience you have here ends up feeling like it's a special one. Yeah. yeah. All right. So that's all I got for questions. Thank you, Mike. Cool. Thank you, everyone, for listening. I hope you enjoyed that brief interview with our volunteer, Mike Hansen, who provided some really excellent insight on his volunteerism and how Aeolian plays into that. This podcast was created to promote volunteerism, and I really hope it encourages you to start volunteering. See you next time on the Aeolian Podcast.